Hey everybody, welcome in for an incredibly exciting day. I had no idea we were doing this. I have only been awake for like 30 minutes, but I heard that the Arcane season two trailer dropped. So naturally everything's gotta get set up. We gotta, we gotta watch it. But it's funny cause I don't usually do trailers for the channel and I really don't even usually watch trailers in general unless they're like forced upon me in a movie theater or something like that. I usually just like to go into things completely blind, but we've been waiting so patiently, patiently for the season two of Arcane that I'm just, I'm ready to get like a little bit and then we still have another I guess technically really two months before the season actually comes out so thought it would be fun to react to the trailer see what's all going on I haven't watched the series since I first watched it on the channel which was two or three years ago at this point it was the third series that I had watched for the channel I started Rick and Morty and then I believe it was Gravity Falls and then it was Arcane so it's got a little bit of history with the channel I don't know that many people know that I've reacted to it because I've had people several times in other videos be like hey you should react to Arcane Arcane, and I just point them to the playlist, which to be fair, it was edited, you know, when I first started out. So it's probably not like the greatest editing that has ever occurred in reaction history, but it's it's out there. I've considered re-editing it, but it's a lot of work, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm very excited. I, like I said, it's been a while, so I may forget names. I may forget some themes or something, but what I will not forget is the trauma and the sadness that this show had caused in the first season. And I know that the voice actor for Jinx has said in an interview, I think during her fallout, you know, media campaign that we should expect ourselves to shed some more tears. And then I also learned that Arcane season two is going to be the last season of Arcane. So it's admittedly pretty emotional when it comes to some of these shows for whatever reason. I'm sure it's going to be tremendously awful for me, but I'm very excited. So without anything else, let's go ahead and get into it. Full disclaimer as well, I have played a total of maybe 10 hours of League of Legends, so I am probably not going to recognize if we get any new heroes or anything. So please let me know in the comments what I'm missing and who showed up in the trailer, because I am not going to recognize them unless they were in season one, obviously. But let me know. You were right. Yes, the cliffhanger, dude, th that was like the worst cliffhanger that they could have possibly have given us, like, and then make us wait as long as they did. My sister is gone. There's only Jinx now. <laughs> I want to tear that laugh from her throat forever. One of them are ready. Oh, dude, yeah, I mean, we spent like the whole season, she's like, no, no, like, yeah, like there's such a back and forth between them two. And I assume that season two is very much like there's probably going to be a moment and it may even be a moment where one of them is dying or something like that, where there's that push and pull again. Like, no, you know, like you can come with and it's going to end in somebody's death. It has to be. And my guess is probably Jinx because like the good guy has to win. Right. But also it's League of Legends and there's no bad guys or good guys. So who knows? Ah, uh, this art style too. It looks like they kind of refined it. Martial law. Topside is the real enemy. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, it definitely looks like the same art style, obviously, but it kind of looks a lot cleaner, maybe. But it still looks fantastic, and I'm very excited about that. Your symbol. Dude, look at the colors too. That's so pretty. God, yeah. I mean, look, she's just. Oh god, the little head tilt. Just like looking at it, like, hmm, that what? is me, isn't it? God, yeah. So she's like, she's literally a symbol for these, for the underside. <sighs> what are you planning? Yeah. See, no, no, no. There's definitely gonna be some. <laughs> there's gonna be emotional turmoil. I mean, I don't think that Ella would lie to us about that, but. God, they had so much emotion in their faces in this animation. Like, it's such a good animation style because it gets the facial expressions across so well. Watch it all burn. Ah, uh, yeah. Yo, look at the colors, though. I love that, actually. Those, that's like really nice shades of those colors. But I'm also a sucker for the purples and the blue, so I might be a little bit biased. My god, dude. Topside is definitely gonna have their hands full, for sure. I don't wanna wait till November. I don't wanna wait, dude. You felt it. 
haven't you? Oh. The arcane is waking up. The arcane is is the arcane a thing? Did we know that the arcane is waking up? That's cannot be good. Also, her eyes right here. Oh god, she's definitely gone, dude. Like, I think I need to separate it from my head because I think I I did a really good job of that in the last episode. I was like, all right, like Jinx, she's gone, she's done. Like she she is who she is now, and like I did a good job of that. But now like we're rehashing feelings, and it's like, oh god. But wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Leaving a few things behind. Was that Vi? Wait, is that like... That totally is, for sure, right? Why is she in like... Are we using skins this season? <laughs> are we getting some... Are we promoting some skins? That's definitely Vi, though, for sure. But her tattoo's not there, so I'm not 100% sure, but... That's definitely the cut. And the pose, really. Yeah, I'm. I'm assuming there's there's definitely been some some other heroes that have shown up. I'm thinking that that last one, the the guy that was just there, and then also there was like a quick scene of something running, and I'm pretty sure that was something, but I have no idea what. Haven't you? Somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 that. that. Like, I have no idea, but it seemed like it was so quick that it just made sense. You felt it, haven't you? I love this song though. I recognize it went back too far. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Uh, means leaving a few things behind. Seeing Vi and all that armor and stuff is crazy. Yo, no, we're doing skins this season, dude. <laughs> For sure. That was sick looking. Stop me. Oh, God. Yeah, like the color. God, I love how colorful her character became. And just all like the neon kind of. It's just a good look. It's just a good art design. It just looks great. The purple and blue hair. That looks like Echo's grown up too. He looks a little bit older. <laughs> I want more, dude. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. It's so exciting, though. It's looking great. It's looking really, really good. It absolutely looks like we are in for a treat this season. And I guess for the season, like the series finale, like this is all that we're getting. But I am assuming, and I think that I've seen in places that we're going to get spinoffs. I'm totally down for that. I mean, I don't think I want them to drag the story out until the end of time. I would actually rather them do a cap and then move on to some other characters and explore the world a little bit more. That actually sounds really, really fun. But I am going to be sad, you know, see these characters go or at the very least, like see less of them i'm sure maybe they'll turn up in some other series if there are spin-offs but i don't think i know enough about like league lore to understand like dissect that side of things but what i do know is that there is a lot of emotional baggage in this trailer like everybody is charged up and ready to get into this fight i mean we've got martial law going on we've got kate who wants to rip jinx's laugh out of her voice forever uh vi is 100 percent for it jinx thinks that she's a symbol for the underside like there's a lot of charged things happening here and it's gonna all explode and it's gonna be it's gonna be tremendous but not tremendous in a good way but i'm very very excited i would love to hear what i missed in the trailer though i understand that there's probably a good amount please let me know though i am not super terrific at dissecting things i'm very much a like let me watch this absorb it and then like three hours later i'll be like oh shit okay let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear it let me know what you're looking forward to in season two who you're looking forward to seeing the most and if you've not watched my season one reactions i would encourage you to go do that i will certainly be re-watching season one before season two comes out because that just feels like the appropriate thing to do after like a two three year break with everything else uh if you guys have not subscribed yet please consider doing that and if you're interested in any uncut reactions or steven universe or adventure time you get access to all that by becoming a patron or a youtube member with the links down below but until next time i'm ever this has been ever's prime time thanks for watching